Your favorite Netflix boy, Noah Centineo, is back on the streaming platform with a big bang. And get this, he's not in the same cookie cutter rom-com movies, guys. Nope, this is a step up, all right. The Netflix series, The Recruit, shows Noah in a brand new light to the audience. Keep watching because in this video, we'll be discussing everything related to The Recruit, which includes its cast, the release date, and more. First of all, here's the tea on the new Netflix show. Noah Centineo's The Netflix Golden Boy in the year of 2018, from his swoon-worthy roles in To All the Boys I've Loved Before to The Perfect Date, there's no way you didn't see his face pop up on your Netflix homepage. We're used to seeing him in his typical teenager roles, but things aren't the same for Netflix's new series. The Recruit, because Noah's not running for prom king or fake dating anyone in this show, in fact, he's not even playing a teenager in it, which is a relief. No, for once, he's played an age-appropriate role, one in which he works for the CIA as a lawyer. The story follows Owen Hendricks, the CIA lawyer played by Noah Centineo. But his job isn't as easy as he thought. Hendrick's first week gets off to a rocky start for sure. And it's not because of new job jitters when the CIA receives a letter from a former asset, Max Maledzi, who has plans of threatening to divulge the agency's secrets unless she's forgiven of a severe crime. Owen Hendricks is assigned the case. But what he doesn't realize is that by taking the case, he's stumbling headfirst into the dangerous and morally gray world of espionage. Owen's professional skills and personal relationships are put to the test as he's made to travel the world to untangle the truth. And you know, to try to stay alive throughout. It's a spy series, with all eight episodes premiering on December 16th, 2022. We can guarantee that when The Recruit is released on Netflix, we'll be ready with a bucket of popcorn on our sides. Coming up, who's part of the cast? Noah Centineo is playing the main man of the show, Owen Hendricks, the CIA lawyer who's having one hell of a work week, which makes us think Mondays might just be the real villain in the story. Then comes Artie Mann, starring as Violet, Owen's ambitious CIA colleague. She's convinced that he's trying to sabotage her, so she does what any high-strung colleague does best, shake their boss's faith in Hendrick. Duh. Walter Nyland, Owen's boss, is portrayed by Vondi Curtis Hall. The English actress Laura Haddock is Max, a former Russian asset who's currently on trial for murder. She writes to the CIA in hopes that she can use sensitive, dangerous information she gathered during her time spent working for U.S. intelligence in exchange for her freedom. Colton Dunn is playing the role of Lester Kitchens, Violet's colleague who warms up to the newcomer aka Owen's charismatic personality. Fivel Stewart stars as Hannah Copeland in the Netflix series. Hannah's Hendrix, ex and roommate, but don't worry, they're friends. And what are friends for if they don't give each other a helping hand in complicated cases? Other cast members whose character details are still in the dark include Byron Mann as Xander, Angel Parker as the character of Dawn, Linus Roach as Senator Smoot, and Kayla Xander as Amelia. While the character of Janice Ferbers, played by Christine Brune, and actor Daniel Quincy, Anno, portrays Terrence. Well, looks like we'll just have to watch the Netflix series ourselves to figure out what roles these characters play and what side of the story they're on. Following up, why does the show focus on a rookie CIA lawyer? So, the show's creator and showrunner, Holly, recently shared why he decided to center the story on a newly out of school graduate in his first job instead of a seasoned lawyer. And here's Alexi's reasoning. According to him, the spy genre is always seen through the eyes of a veteran operative who's invariably the smartest and toughest guy in the room, but with the recruit, our main guy isn't a veteran at his job, but rather a rookie, giving the audience a refreshingly new perspective into the world of espionage. The showrunner added that while our dreams to be just like James Bond, we have to get through our first job, which includes untrusty co-workers and hidden agendas that, you know, in the CIA environment won't just make you lose your job, they'll kill you. Up next, where was the series filmed? The official trailer of the series shows different places, but it's interesting to note that The Recruit was mainly filmed in Los Angeles, Montreal, and Vienna. According to What's on Netflix, the filming for the series began on October 25th, 2021, and concluded on March 28th, 2022. The majority of the filming that happened in Montreal was done on a soundstage at Grande Studios, which is located in Point 
St. Charles. It used to be an Alstrom train factory, but it's since been transformed into studios that meet the demands of large-scale productions. Or, well, that's what their official website says anyway. And get this, the studio's also super spacious. According to its official website, the studio covers nearly 200,000 square feet, and the facility also features six 50-foot-high studios. But wait, there's more. There are six floors of production offices, as well as comfortable lounges, fully equipped kitchens, dining rooms, costume makeup areas, set storage, and finally, a complete indoor base camp. Like, hello people can literally live in these buildings. They took the term work from home to a whole new level, it seems. Moving on, let's take a look at the show's trailer. Let's be honest, if you've seen the trailer for The Recruit, then you know the show's bound to be good. But if you still haven't seen it yet, know this. The trailer's a strong 8 out of 10. And no, we're not being biased, because this trailer just hit different. And by hit different, we obviously mean that it checked all the boxes that a good, no sorry, great trailer's supposed to. For starters, hello, the score of the trailer is composed by Jordan Gagné, which used staccato strings like panic blinks of terror, genius, creating a sense of impending doom and tension throughout the trailer. But one thing that caught us by pleasant surprise was the humorous dialogue they added into the show. Usually shows of this genre like to keep the main lead as morally black and white and, okay, also gray as they possibly can. Oh, and the personality? Bland. And the guy's just not funny. He hasn't got time to be making one-liner jokes unless he's getting paid for it. Now that's a different story. The point is, Noah Centineo's depiction of Owen Hendricks, on the other hand, is one that's officially impressed us. The guy's cool and collected, and not to mention the literal epitome of suaveness. A good example of this is his response when questioned, you do know bullets go through metal, right? Like, we might have just found ourselves a new fictional Netflix show character to obsess over, and he's played by Netflix's golden boy, or man, Noah Centineo? Now that's what we call a win-win situation, people. To be honest, we've rewatched the show's trailer a bunch of times already, it's just that good. What's more, here's details related to the show's creator and director. The Recruit is created by Alexi Hawley, who's known for creating shows such as the police drama The Rookie and State of Affairs. Other notable shows he's got under his belt are Castle and The Following. Hawley's not just the show's creator, Creator, but also its writer and showrunner, meaning he's a triple threat. But who's directing the show? It's none other than Doug Lehman. You might have seen his movies, some of which include Edge of Tomorrow, starring Tom Cruise, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, starring Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, and The Bourne Identity with Matt Damon, and while the list goes on. But now you know Lehman's got a good understanding of how to make a movie or show from good to excellent. Also, Holly isn't the only executive producer. In fact, he's accompanied by Noah Centineo, Doug Lehman, Gene Klein, and David Bardis. With such well-known names working on this series, and not to forget the star-studded cast that's on board for the show, we've got no doubt in the fact that Netflix's The Recruit won't just meet fans' expectations, but possibly outdo them altogether. In the case of the new Netflix series, one thing that's certain is that the show's in good hands, and we should be on the lookout for some future five-star reviews as well. Last but not least, here's what the internet had to say about the show's trailer. One one person expressed their excitement regarding the show, sharing that they don't think they've seen a good Netflix trailer in a long time, and also noted that it'll be interesting to see Noah in an action movie, instead of one about teens. You know the stuff that used to be his bread and butter? The person also added that casting in Hollywood so warped that when they look at a 26-year-old playing a 24-year-old, their first thought was, isn't he too young to play this role? Another netizen praised the trailer, stating that it makes her want to watch the show, and that everything fits together so well. Well. She also added that Noah's young age works as an advantage in the movie because he's not doing all the big things that usually happen in action movies, making it easier to follow. The internet user also added that the trailer's music and editing are also done very well. All in all, she seemed impressed. In fact, she even told Netflix to keep up the good work, and they might not lose her as a customer. Interesting. But hey, not everyone's a fan, especially not the person who called the actor Noah Centineo as Noah Scented Mayo instead, and expressed his his disgust at him trying to be an action hero. They said, I really cannot stand this annoying lad, and then even asked girls what they see in him. The person finished their rant by calling him an eyesore. Yikes. That's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on the upcoming new Netflix show starring Noah Centineo? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.